play French horn anymore, and it's a very archaic instrument. Harmonics are really close together in like the meat of the instrument. Uh, like on trumpet, for example, the harmonics are farther apart. That's what horn players always say. It's like the reason why they miss notes. Yeah, the how close it the sounds like an are. excuse to me. It's funny because I actually grew up in doing the same things that Robert did except with bassoon and I played the student orchestra. Like my horn teachers, Bill Barnowitz and Gail Williams. Like Bill Barnowitz especially was a big hero for me in the fact that like when I was a kid I always used to go to the symphony because I loved going to the symphony yeah. and uh, he was the principal horn player of the orchestra. Robert took the French horn teach, uh, player from the Milwaukee Symphony Orchestra and I took lessons from the bassoon player in the Mark Sabi Orchestra. Not very good at guitar. We've been taking piano lessons, you will see you know, tonight. <laughs> since like the beginning of time. I really like making melodies, which is what horn players do. They, they make melodies, you know. You play one note at a time. Just get tired of doing one note, you want to like... you're in a practice room. I think the best way to describe it, you're in a practice room for six hours a day and then you're also in an ensemble for two hours, so like most of your time... Well, more than that actually, you're more like in an ensemble for six hours a day and then the practice room for two hours. Well then, it's like all your time is spent on an, an element of something bigger. It's only natural for a person who wanted to express themselves on, at a more definitive level that you'd want to be able to have control of all the different elements and make something new. You know, and that's the frustration at least I had when I was in orchestra. I would listen to all this, the beauty that, that was created with and when everyone played together, you know, and I wanted to make something new out of that. Influenced is just how jazz we get about certain things that we love, mm -hmm. you know? It's kind of like a, a modern day composition. Uh, written really for an orchestra, it could be written for an orchestra, but instead we decided to write it for like um, synthesizers, uh, synthesizers and, and drums. Synthesized and, like, percussion, yeah, and a combination yeah, yeah. of production techniques that we've been kind of uh, cultivating over the years. A lot like a kind of like Wagnerian type thing where like they wrote, he wrote the libretto, he wrote like the music, he wrote all the orchestration. Link because I, I think that's what you're talking about. With what we were frustrated with was basically getting to something that mean, was meaningful to us. Basically, in this case, having fun. It's like we were playing in music, uh, uh, playing in ensembles, playing. In, I was playing in other bands, we were producing other music, and none of it should. It should all be fun. I mean, this is like one of the most ethereal ways, of art uh, forms of art. You know, being sound and existing in this kind of fourth dimension. It's like, how exciting is that? It's amazingly exciting. And when you can blend so many different things together, like story, you know, character development, uh, um, arrange, uh, arrangement theory, and all this, you blend all the things you know, all your experiences you have together, why wouldn't you want to blend your experiences? Because that's what's meaningful to you.